Hello, water signs. We're going to be looking at your future partner. I'm going to be doing individual readings for every sign. So Cancer will get a spread, Scorpio will get a spread, and Pisces will get a spread. And each of the signs are going to get their own deck. I'm going to use one deck for each of you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general. Uh, I'll have the timestamps down in the description box in case you want to jump to a specific sign. And let's start with Cancer. Spirit Angels Guides. What do we need to know about Cancer's future partner, the person coming towards Cancer? We're going to be looking at their traits, their characteristics. What do we need to know about them? And we'll also ask Spirit for advice. For, whoops, okay. for Cancer Spirit, what do we need to know about Cancer's future partner, the partner coming towards Cancer? What do we need to know? about this future partner for cancer three of swords okay we have a uh, strength at the bottom of the deck leo energy this person could have been hurt by someone in the past they could have experienced a lot of heartbreak or difficulty or have just maybe they're heartbroken i'm getting a lot of like inner turmoil here let's see what else do we need to know about this individual Six of Wands. Okay, so I feel like they're not letting this completely get to them or affect them to the point where like they can't make anything else happen in their life. Like I feel like even if they've had bad experiences in love, they're not giving up. That's kind of what I see here with the Six of Wands. Um, maybe they are giving you a chance, Cancer, right? Giving this connection with you a chance because it might be different. It could be a risk that they're taking, but in their mind, it, there would be success, victory. This card is also about like being recognized for your success, being recognized for your victory. So it could also be that this person is someone who's looking to be appreciated. Maybe they've given, given, given in past relationships and they just haven't received that back. So maybe you are that person that recognizes their worth, recognizes how far they've come. What else do we need to know? about this person coming towards cancer what else do we need to know the hangman so this is someone that is able to gain enlightenment by hanging upside down and getting a new perspective on things i feel like you would open this person's world or open their mindset or you know it's like they're they're being more flexible in terms of like how they see things. Um, and I think this is probably due to you or to this connection. It could also be cancer, that this person comes into your life and changes your mind about something or gives you new perspective about something. I feel like whatever this Three of Swords represents for this person, they've learned something about it. Let's get one more for this hangman energy. Spirit, tell me more. Why is the hangman here? Okay, that one almost came out. Why is the hangman here? Can you tell me about the hangman? Why is the hangman here? The five of swords. So this is about looking at whatever they've been through, whatever disappointments they've experienced, whatever hasn't worked out. Maybe they have a lot of blame in you know, whatever has happened in the past, but I feel like they're seeing things very differently now. And the fool at the bottom of the deck tells me that they're willing to try again. Whoever this is, I feel like they're like a tortured soul. Um, they've been hurt. Maybe they've been through some karmic lessons, but they're not giving up on love. Like, I feel like they're still willing to give love a try. Let me see if I can get one for this Three of Swords. What can you tell me, Spirit, about this Three of Swords? Why is the Three of Swords here? Five of Cups. Oh, yeah, this is somebody, this is like a tortured soul. Like, it love has not worked out for them um they have regrets in their past um, this could also be someone you might have a history with cancer that obviously won't resonate for all of you keep in mind that th these readings are for the cancer collective um there might be a history between you where this person has regrets over the past i see that as well and, and still sees an opportunity here for success with you let's see what do we need to know about this future partner for cancer spirit excuse me what do we need to know oh i got three i only wanted one but okay 
Pisces. Um, this person could have Pisces in their chart. This is also like the moon major arcana. Spirit guided and protected. So this person is led by spirit, or guided by spirit, spontaneous, impulsive, and unplanned. So this person might, you know, do things a little bit differently with you. I feel like they might be motivated by spirit or by their intuition. Um, they might be destined to make a spontaneous move or decision here towards you. Let's get a, oops, why is this? Let's get an Ever After Oracle. Uh, this is available now. It's linked in the description box if you're curious. All right, tell me about this future partner for Cancer. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this individual? Long ago, the past history memories. So this could be a past life connection, a connection that you've had with someone in a past life, or this is a past person cancer. There's history here. There's memories here. What else? What else for cancer? Fairy godmother, a wish granted and happy changes. Oh yeah. So there's definitely something here about like, I, I feel like with spirit and then the fairy godmother card, it's like, this is happening because it's meant to happen. It's like a destined um, energy. Any hidden factors, anything else that Cancer needs to know about this individual spirit? What does Cancer need to know about this future partner that they might not be aware of? What does Cancer need to know about this future partner that they might not be aware of? Two of Wands. So a path has been chosen. What's at the bottom of the deck? Six of Swords. Wow. So this is about headed, being headed in a new direction. So whoever this is, they're on a new path. They're headed down a new path. Let's see, what else? What else do we need to know? They've chosen a new path, a new direction. Tell me more about this individual. What does Cancer need to know? Any hidden factors? Or what does Cancer absolutely need to know that they might not know? about this future partner the four of cups okay so what you need to know is this person has chosen to try things differently because i feel like they've been unhappy for some time they've made bad decisions in the past they've had a lot of heartbreak and disappointment in the past and they're ready to just try something new that's why the fool came up that's why the six of wands is here clearly where they've been has not been successful for a reason and i think they're realizing that now with the hangman it's like they're realizing they're getting a new perspective on where they're at how they got there and where they want to be you know and i feel like this is someone that no longer wants to be missing out on opportunities no longer wants to be disinterested or dissatisfied right like they're wanting to choose a different path here a different direction any advice, any guidance for cancer? Any advice or guidance for cancer, please, spirit? Any advice? Okay. Wow, we got three. We have round and round, never ending story and mending. Oh yeah, this goes perfectly. I'm gonna look at the keywords for these in case they resonate for someone watching. Round and round, uh, the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles, you're challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. What were we just talking about with the hangman, right? Never ending story, let's look at that one. 37. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Self-loathing, manner of suffering, born of dramas. This is about kind of fearing the worst and that's all you know. Um, so I feel like this is someone that was caught up in what wasn't working out, caught up in karmic cycles, caught up in like the difficulties of life, you know, blaming themselves, having pity parties, kicking themselves when they were down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like the round and round energy is almost like someone was spiraling and they've realized that they can't keep going this way. That's why we have mending here as well. Mending forgiveness making amends and healing after argument so this is about someone that has realized something maybe they've forgiven themselves 
Maybe they need forgiveness from others, but I feel like this is them healing. I feel like whoever's coming towards you is healing from a difficulty and that's why they're able to have their wish granted and have that six of wands. All right, so let's see what we have for Pisces. We'll use a different deck for Pisces and we'll clear out what we have here. Let's use this deck. Hello Pisces, we're going to be looking at your future partner, the person coming towards you. What do you need to know about them, characteristics, traits, and what do you need to know that you might not know? Any hidden factors? And then we'll get advice from Spirit as well. For Pisces, Spirit Angels guys, what messages do you have for Pisces regarding their future partner? What messages do you have? For Pisces regarding their future partner. What does Pisces need to know about this person? The star, Aquarius energy. That could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Um, the star is about healing, renewal. It's about having hope or faith in things working out, having hope or faith that your wish will be granted, that you will get what you need or, or you know, find that resource, that renewal that you need. Um, I feel like this is someone that has been healing from a situation. Maybe their health was affected and now they're doing much better. This could also be their mental health doing much better. Um, Five of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone coming out of something. All right. What else do we need to know about this future partner? They could also just have Aquarius in their chart. What else does Pisces need to know? Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person... Seven of Wands, is, it, it could be interpreted in two very different ways. Um, it could be that someone's standing firm, being brave, uh, and fighting against any obstacle or challenge that's literally in their way. Or it could be interpreted as someone who is defensive, right? They don't, they're kind of blocking others from coming any closer, uh, putting up kind of a wall, a defensive, you know, wall. Um, we'll clarify that to see what that's all about. Tell me about this seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? The nine of swords. Okay, so there's worries, anxieties, fears. So I get the sense that this is probably more about someone, a, a person that they've been hurt in the past Aquarius, and they're not so easy to, it's like they don't lower their guard easily. This is someone who is always kind of a little bit anxious that they'll be hurt again. Um, this is somebody that perhaps is a bit scared to jump into a relationship. Um, again, I feel like they've been through a process of healing this person. They're working through it, but there's always like that little nagging feeling in the back of their mind. Like, oh, what if this doesn't work out? What if this ends up just like every other relationship? Um, you know, things like that. What else? What else do we need to know about? Okay, we have the five of wands. Wow, there's some drama or conflict or something going on here. Um, this is like arguments, not seeing eye to eye, not being on the same page. This could also be a card about like people interfering. Tell me about this five of wands. I feel like maybe this person um, either, I mean, I don't want to like jump to conclusions. Let's clarify first because I, I pick up more drama from that card than like actual like arguments. Spirit, why is the five of wands here? Three of wands and then bottom of the deck, the empress. Okay. So, hmm. Three of wands is like waiting for a result, waiting for like uh, a message back, waiting before you like move to the next step. And the empress is here. Some of you, this could be a person who has issues with a parental figure, maybe a feminine um, figure in their life that causes rifts or causes delays. Um, this could also be that um, this person is probably just used to drama, conflict, used to things not working out, having kind of like a chip on their shoulder and you're over here like, you need to chill. Um, 
I'm not going to be like those other people. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to mistreat you like others did. Um, I see that as well. Um, but I feel like there's something here that the tarot isn't telling me about this individual. We'll ask again what we need to know that you might not know. Actually, let's, let's just ask that now. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this individual that they might not be aware of? Any hidden factors? Anything that Pisces just needs to know about this future partner? Anything that Pisces just needs to know, Spirit, about this future partner that they might not be aware of? Wow, the fool. Risks. Taking risks. A leap of faith. Yes. So five of pentacles shows up again at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting told the same story that I was telling you where someone's willing to take the risk to try something new, despite the fact that they're really, I don't know. It's like they've had to, they have had to heal from something very difficult. And this could be anything. This could be another relationship. This could be childhood issues, you know, family issues, whatever health issues, but I feel like this is someone that's willing to try to give this a shot. Um, to them, it's a huge risk for some reason, Pisces. For them to like come forward and try things here with you, um, to, to come towards you and try again in this love thing, it's a huge risk. Can you tell me one more, please, for the fool? Why is the fool here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So I feel like, wow, the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. I think this person, um, I think they just need to be reassured. I think open communication is very important. I think they'll risk sending you the message first. Like, I feel like they're gonna, they're willing to actually be the one that like texts you first or messages you first or makes the first move. Um, but I think that through communication, through open, honest dialogue, you'll get to this Four of Wands, which is like a happy home, a happy life, a balanced life. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know about this individual? What else do we need to know about this person coming towards Pisces? Intelligent, logical, analytical, okay? Anything else? So this is somebody that could have a good job, of some, maybe even work in the medical field very logical, analytical, not too much um, emotions here. Creative, artistic, and clever. Um, so not only are they smart, but they're also artistic and clever. That's a great mix. Um, I feel like this person might be very interesting to talk to. Maybe they like keep up with the news, politics, things like that. Um, they could be an artist. They could be somebody that works in like, you know, web design, web development, social media, things like that. I also feel like this person can think outside the box, which is interesting. I feel like they're sensitive deep down, even though they're intelligent, I feel like there's a sensitive part to them. All right, I'm gonna get an Ever After Oracle. This is available now on my shop if you're interested. It's linked down uh, in the description box. All right, what else do we need to know for Pisces about this individual? sword courage defense conflict again we have like that seven of wands energy i feel like this is someone that's had to really fight in life <laughs> they've had to fight they've had to like overcome obstacles for some reason things haven't been easy i don't know if this person has like influences around them that are just not great um maybe there's just constant family drama or something i feel like it holds this person back maybe they had to experience that in order to like stand up for themselves to be firm in what they truly want. Okay. We have magic carpet, speed, action, movement. So I feel like this person, yeah, though they're going to be willing to make that first move. I feel like they want to, they want to take action here towards you. Um, I'm also getting like a movement as in someone physically moving. But what I get more than anything is like there's actual action that someone will be taking when it comes to you. I want to get one more for Pisces. One more, please. Magic wand, transformation, hope, and solutions. Love it. So yeah, there's definitely something changing here. That's like the star. There's like a healing energy. There's, there's hope because there's a solution. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's something to look forward to. Pot of gold is at the bottom of the deck. I mean, hello. 
this is like abundance treasure finding like your happy ending in a way so let's get some advice for you pisces I feel like this is not a very simple person coming towards you but sometimes that can be a little boring <laughs> right like sometimes safe can be a little boring i don't think this person is going to be boring at all i feel like there's a lot going on here what advice what guidance do you have for pisces okay wow we have TikTok timing things are going to be happening in the right time patience is needed this isn't something you can rush you know it's just going to happen when it's meant to happen pisces that's what you need to know all right so let's see what we have for scorpio i'm going to use a whole different deck for scorpio put these over here let's use this deck All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you regarding the person coming towards you, your future partner, spirit angels, guides. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Scorpio's future partner, the person coming towards them in the near future? What do we need to know about this future partner coming towards Scorpio? What do we need to know? Wow, the magician, you could be you could have manifested this person. This could be someone that's very resourceful, a doer, someone that likes to create their, their own reality, willing to do what it takes, willing to make things happen, the magician. What else? What else do we need to know about this future partner? Wow, the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there, someone very loving, very sweet. Um, empathetic intuitive this is someone that's willing to like put themselves out there emotionally has an emotional maturity to them could just be a water sign as well um, but i feel like this is someone that has a lot of feelings towards you um a sympathetic ear easy to talk to someone very sweet what else what else do we need to know about this partner coming towards scorpio scorpio's future partner the high priestess okay so this is someone that i feel you're gonna have to dig to get to know i think that they keep some things close to their chest or to the close to the vest <laughs> um this is someone that uh, it's not like they're secretive but um they're not someone that like voluntarily shares everything and this scorpio might be something that you understand more than any other sign um there's a depth to this person it doesn't seem like it at first, but I feel like there's a depth to it. There's more to this person than meets the eye at, like at first glance. There's something about them that's different, something about them that, you know, it's like you have to really dig deep. They have layers, this person. I got one more for the High Priestess. I just want to clarify. Spare, what can you tell us about this High Priestess energy for Scorpio? Yeah, the moon, Pisces energy. <laughs> so I feel like this is someone where there's a lot hidden or they might surprise you, right? Like at first you're like, oh, this is just somebody that's like really sweet, um, really lovey-dovey, very compassionate, right? But they might have a little bit of a, a deep, um, like a depth to them that you might not be aware of. I feel like this person, you know, I'm getting like you're, you're meeting them over time because every single time you're like trying to dig a little bit deeper, trying to unwrap another layer of that onion, right? The Wheel of Fortune is at the bottom of the deck. So again, I don't get like bad energy here. I don't get like someone is um, being uh, secretive to the point where like you have to worry. Um, I feel like this is just about, it is just, it's just how this person is. Like they're not someone that you know i feel like there's there's they might act like they're a certain way but then the more you meet them the more um dimension they have if that makes sense like there's a complexity there um so this person might surprise you scorpio which is good they somebody to keep you on your toes what does scorpio need to know about this person that they might not be aware of 
spirit. Any hidden factors for this future partner? What does Scorpio need to know about this person? What do they need to know about this future person? What does Scorpio need to know? There's that Wheel of Fortune again. Basically, what you need to know is that this is going to be something either destined, right? Fated. Or it could be that things just move. Like there's just a bunch of events just that just move along. You meet, you get to know each other, and then you just keep it moving from there. Because the Wheel of Fortune could literally be like events set in motion. Events that happen as if like by magic. Um, this could be like a whirlwind romance. Um, I have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is reminding me of the Magician. I feel like this is someone that's going to pursue you and want to move things along like they don't just want to stay at stage one or first base right like they just want to keep it moving let's see what else do we need to know about this person we'll start with these what do we need to know about this person coming towards scorpio about scorpio's future partner what do we need to know about this individual spirit What do we need to know about this individual? Lucky, fortunate, and blessed. Let's like the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is a faded romance, faded love, like something that's meant to happen. I feel like you'll, you'll feel really lucky to have met this person and vice versa. What else? What else for Scorpio? Sensitive, responsive, and perceptive. So that reminds me of that King of Cups. I do feel like this is someone that, um, like I said, there's a depth to them, an emotional depth. Uh, this is someone that is more than just passion and intelligence. There's also like an intensity, uh, you know, um, which I love. I also feel like this person is very comfortable with themselves and that's very King of Cups energy um that's why they're you know they're not afraid to express themselves what else what else for scorpio let's get an ever after oracle these um this deck is available now on my shop it's linked down below if you're curious what do we need to know about this future partner coming towards scorpio true love's kiss dating love soulmates hello this is so sweet <laughs> I do feel like this is your true love or someone very special, Scorpio. Like you might feel like this is a soulmate. You might start dating and then you're like, wow, this is the one. Yeah, Prince Charming, Divine Masculine. Hello. Who does not want to be with like the one? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting there with Prince Charming. It's like, this is your true love. Um, I do feel that. And it's someone that I think will surprise you, like I said earlier. There's something about them that's different. And, um, and I feel like destined for a lot of you. Let's get some advice, some guidance for Scorpio. Any advice, guidance, messages, please, Spirit, for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Any advice or guidance for Scorpio? Fork in the road. Okay. So you're at a fork in the road and bottom of the deck is loyal heart. I feel like there, there's going to be like a possibly some changes in your life that bring you down this path of meeting this person. Let's see. Number 13. Time to make a decision. Considering the consequences as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Every choice has a consequence you're being asked to come to a decision so i feel like i don't know maybe you start dating several you know multiple people and you have to decide who to continue with maybe you're moving somewhere moving careers or making a physical move and you don't know that this is waiting for you on the other side um because again i feel like there's a destined energy here um there could be a, a decision that you have to make about two very different people, right? Uh, who do you, who do you choose? Um, do you choose someone that you, from the past, someone in the future? Like what's, what's going to go, uh, wh which way are you going to go basically with fork in the road? I feel like a lot of you are going to be presented with this, like this person's going to come into your life and you're going to be uncertain about moving forward with them for whatever reason. Maybe they don't tell you enough at first 
maybe you feel like they have something to hide or maybe you're like not really sure uh, what their intentions are. Uh, something might make you question whether to continue with this person. I feel like you should. Loyal heart is at the bottom of the deck. That's kind of like the two of cups. So I feel like the decision should be to continue to see where this goes with this individual. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Thanks so much for watching. If you've stuck around since the beginning, thank you so much for sticking around throughout the whole video. If you enjoyed the reading um, or any of the readings, click the like button, subscribe. I cannot talk subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and hopefully i'll see you water signs in another video very soon take care